Good morning. This is Ruben Ramos and me, Ryan Gunther, with Miss Buell's Medicine and Science. Uh, what is it? World War One Technology. And uh, Sir Alexander Fleming, a Scottish scientist, born on August 6, 1881, and died on March 11, 1955, was a very popular scientist. One of his accomplishments was in 1928 and discovered penicillin. He is also known for the discovery of enzyme lysosome, and he won the Nobel Peace Prize for medicine in 1945. And a stretcher is a medical device used to carry casualties or incapitated people. Stretchers were first used in the mid 20th century for military and disaster situations. And since then, stretchers have evolved into the type of stretchers EMTs use, and a scoop stretcher is used to scoop in everything, anything, and carry it out. Now, yeah. Ruben, you can go ahead. Thanks to new weapons in World War I, new advances had to be made in the field of medicine. Mary Curie was born in Warsaw, Poland in, on November 4, 1867. She received some f scientific training from her dad, who was also a scientist, and went to Paris in 1891. She obtained licenseships in physics and mathematical sciences. She met Pierre Curie at the School of Physics in 1894 and won the Nobel Peace Prize of Physics in 1903. In 1906, when Pierre died, Mary took the professor of general physics position and was the first woman to do so. She found a way to separate radium from radioactive waste and died on July 4th, 1934, in France after an illness. Modern hospital beds were invented by Willis Gatch, the chairman of the Department of Surgery at Indiana University of Medicine. It features wheels, elevations, and side drills. It was invented in the early 1900s. Sigmund Freud was the father of psychoanalysis. During the time after World War I, Freud began to enter the world of psychoanalysis. He would analyze people's dreams and thoughts. Most of his theories have been proven wrong, and it's not surprising. One of his most famous theories was that children develop incestuous feelings for their parents. He believed that this was due to memories of infancy and happiness only your parents could bring you at that age. I don't know about some of you out there, but for me that's definitely not true. Freud also believed that dreams were the gateway to your soul. This is still a widely believed fact because it makes sense. He also thought everyone was a bit neurotic, and with the world that we live in today, it's not that far-fetched. Now, another medical technology that was invented after World War I was blood transfusions. These could be performed in two different ways, direct blood transfusion and indirect blood transfusion. At the time of World War I, wounded soldiers lost a lot of blood. Without the blood transfusions, they would die. Indirect transfusion was the safest, but most difficult. The blood was taken from the donor and put into a beaker. A tube with a needle was then placed into the beaker and the needle was stuck into a vein. The only problem with this was that the blood could dry up and clot. Another way of transfusion was direct transfusion. With this method, a needle attached to a tube was inserted into the donor on the other end of the tube, which also had a needle, was inserted into the recipient. The problem with this was the donor may not be a match so the recipient could die, or the needle may be improperly placed, resulting in the death of either the donor or the recipient. An important medical advancement during the 1900s was surgery and plastic surgery. During World War I, surgeries were usually no more than one hour. Soldiers who suffered from severe abdominal wounds were not operated on until other surgeries were done, because this type of operation took a, a long time. These men usually ended up dying. A doctor once performed a surgery for 36 hours and was looked down upon because surgery was supposed to last no longer than 24 hours. I'm glad that no do now doctors try to save lives instead of me, a time limit. Plastic surgery was popular during World War I because many soldiers required facial reconstructions. New weapons met new injuries that required new surgeries and treatments. At least back then, people got plastic surgery for reasons besides their vanity. I'm looking at you, at you, John Rivers. A famous mathematician at the time was Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein is the most famous is most famous for his equation E equals M C squared. He argued 
He argued that the measurements of the time and space are not absolute, but are determined by the observer. He was the director of the Kaiser Wilhelm Physical Institute. He realized that in the inaccuracies of Newton's mechanics, sorry, sorry, but that Apple may have hit you just a bit too hard.